Alrighty, we have a new addition to Frankenbox. And I have put a another uh, blower. It's a, a, a carrier furnace cut in half. So there's a uh, actually a, it's a, a four-ton furnace with a two-ton blower in there. And we gotta put them up on top. So we're running the, um, the, the this blower here is helping pull the air through because they have so much static pressure. Uh, so let's look at, let's look at our pressures here. My evaporator uh, temperature is 56 degrees, and this is 130. Uh, T1's 58, T2's 110. And then my subcooling is low because the head pressure is so high. But if I pull the, uh, the plug on the, uh, the blower, you can see my head pressure rise, and then you can see the suction pressure drop. Um, and you'll see my evaporator will run cooler too. It's kind of squealing, so it's plugged in again. But my uh, my uh, condensing uh, temperatures are going to come down now. My evaporator is going to get warmer. I got more air going across it. Show you the blower. This is our little uh, two-ton blower, just enough to pull the air through the evaporator. Evaporator, is, yeah, the evaporator is sweating. It is sweating. But uh, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna take this home. And I'm gonna put the controls on it now, so that the hard part's done. Stay, stay. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Alrighty, I've been working on Frankenbox today. So we got the um, we got a blower, a uh, two ton blower in here, and then we got a uh, a plenum. I just make this thing up as I go. Out of old pieces. I'm trying to keep the cost down. Keep the cost down. Keep everybody happy. I cut these uh, reliefs in, so I, I balanced it, so I don't have any air blown out the side here anymore. It's, it's actually it's, it's blown, it, blown out this way, so I'm trying to balance it just by um, what, conversation on the fly balancing. So, uh, so that relieves my static pressure. No fan going in the box right now. It's 60 degrees in there. My pressures are 63, 208. Superheat is 7. My temperature of my suction line is 43 degrees. Um, and the discharge uh, or the uh, liquid line is at 95 degrees. Transportation straps, transports, and the evaporator doesn't fall off. 
So outside right now it is, it is in the shade. 81 degrees in the shade. So it's taking um, has a uh, sticking in 81 degree air. And then, and then it's getting um, it's coming off the fan warmer. I, I didn't take temperatures with that, but it's coming out at 59 inside the box right now. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put her at high speed. See what happens to our suction line pressure and suction line temperature. Uh, our uh, discharge is 208, we're gonna watch that 208, 104, 8 degrees sub weight, 96 degrees. Coming off the uh the blower's plugged in. See, uh, you see the uh, increase in the, in the uh, suction pressure. Suction line temperature is at uh, 56. That's warming up. Super heat's 15. Now it's coming back down again. It'll, it'll uh, stabilize. But our suction pressure will stay, remain warm. The box here, we're at 71. Back at seven, temperature of the suction line 48. But our, our uh, pressure is at 70 now. And our high side is going to be, I think it's going to top out at 208. Off the review it, but. Uh, I think the only thing that changed was, was our uh, suction uh, uh, pressure. So, so our our uh, suction line is at 48, 6 degrees super heat. It's 72, and our air is warmer. Seventy two point six and two oh eight. Gonna cut the fan. And you'll see the uh, suction pressure drop. and temperature stays about the same. And then this, this will get uh, 63 in there now. So it's, a, it's a lot cooler inside the box. But our, our, uh, our uh, suction line temperature is 46, 6 degrees.